here learn so i would like to share my ppt all can see uh what is development development is a process of improving the quality of life economic well being people living in especially we are talking about in rural area living in rural area those are relatively isolated and it is has traditionally centered on the exploitation of land intensive nature resource as a agriculture society it means in indian context in this unit with this concept we we should know the rural development so rural development have three things rural society rural demography rural social structure so what is rural society rural society is a uh, where the small society small population even very short physical area i request to all learners please mute yourself so where the area is very small where the status is same that is rural society and where the mores and folkways preserve where the culture is preserved where the values is preserved is called rural society it means on the other extreme we have the extremely poor villages in india like bihar orissa chatisgarh where for one square meal the parents are sometime forced to sell their children to liquor vendor money lender so these are things we can say it is a rural society now we come to the tribes and peasant just uh, as a similar to rural society tribes and peasants are also lives in rural but in very interior very remote areas so tribal is a group of person having a common character occupation like same interest and uh, it include wide area of people where different sizes like homes different sizes and composition so we can say according to one sociologist crover said who intend to produce primarily for their substances but they produce to have a little more because they do not manufacture and produce everything they need for their survival so we can say it the isolation of its member from wider world and also negligible relation of its member from wider world let us try find out whether the tribal society so as already said it is they are isolated they might have existed in distance past but whatever historical material we have been able to garner indicate there have always been relation of exchange between community and tribe person and other this is they are called tribes in tribal community in anthropological literature literature we can say they are culturally isolated uh they are very slow learner you can say they have a very slow learning behavior so that's why called cultural isolates now we come to the peasants peasants and villagers and uh, rural society they are relatively common words but little bit different let me tell you what is peasants peasants are not isolated the main major work is agriculture they are very attached and close to soil they 
प्रोड्यूस बट नॉट मैनुफैक्चर तो सो पीजेंट्स एंड रूरल सोसाइटी लिटिल बिट सिमिलर बिकॉज दे आर पार्ट ऑफ सोसाइटी दे आर अ पार्ट ऑफ कल्चर बट ट्राइबल्स और ट्राइब्स आर नॉट सो वी कैन से एज अ पीजेंट इज प्री इंडस्ट्रियल एग्रीकल्चरल लेबर और फार्मर विथ लिमिटेड लैंड ओनरशिप स्पेशली वन इन द मिडिल एज under feudalism and paying like rent taxes fees services to landlord i would like to tell you about little bit village what is village so village are principally food producing unit they are very close to agriculture as i told you they produce not only for their substances but also for the urban society now we come to the rural and urban society what is difference and what is relationship as i told you rural society is culturally background they lives in a village and they dependent on natural environment and totally based on agriculture so they are uh, they don't have industrialized pattern but they totally culturally so in contrast to generate surplus not only for acquiring thing it does not produce but also they produce for the city they produce for the urbans so we can say economically interaction is closely related closely linked so each rural society has its own council like panchayat in india which take up and resolve dispute between among the people and community this is panchayat the ultimate seat of authority controlling villages in situated in urban areas also and they have also political power like as urban cities and urban cities are in contrast to urban society it is i i i want to the quote one sociologist like louis wirth noted large size high density of population and heterogeneity where these character are seen we can say this is a urban society so city have a very large population growth is very faster people are migrated from rural to urban society in village rate growth of power is slower but not in urban society the way of life people shown a variety a wide variety in urban society but what is relation in rural and urban society is very little scope of occupational mobility in rural society but in cities occupational mobility is as well as very frequent so we can see the relation and differences now we come to the tradition tradition is a very general term and in layman we can say where custom ritual beliefs folklore habits in the given ethnic group as a layman but one our sociologist macam merriet says something about the relation and ceaseless interaction between the society of urban and rural is called tradition tradition is a not a custom tradition can be changed through generation to generation so two type of tradition we can see little tradition and great tradition uh, these uh, words or concept is proposed by robert redfield robert redfield also proposed the little community which may it is little from little community come to the little tradition and great community come to the great tradition little community is a imagine to be like a village like a community some characteristic like a small village largely self sufficient homogeneous and relatively isolated is called little community and uh, little tradition come from the little community where little tradition small small customs some festivals are localized that is called little tradition 
and the great tradition consist or contain legitimated from all these all these means uh, people are literate like for example one festival we are celebrated in all over the world but in some villages some little little habits little little folks little little mores are celebrated that is little tradition and great tradition have a like for example i can give you a festival which is celebrated in all over the world is great tradition now we come to the rural demography rural demography is a statistical study of human population and demography exa examine size structure movement of population over space and time and it used method from history economics anthropology sociology and other fields in rural demography we can divide in census civil registration system sample registration system sample survey and some distribution of rural population also even also in rural demography we can go through the sex composition of rural population age composition of rural population marital status of rural population fertility mortality migration pattern these are the come into the rural demography now as i have told just now demographic database is census crs like civil registration system sample registration system and sample system what is census i think everybody know but i'll tell you a little bit census is a very valuable and authentic source and can provide information at the lowest possible aggregation and in addition to a sex marital status of various type of population it means it provide information about their socio economic characteristics such as literacy education religion of the head of the head of the household etc occupation also we can include in the census now we come to civil registration service or system it is a continuous recording of vital event like birth death marriages it is a compulsory recording done according to the legal requirement of the country as per provision by made by officers order or rules sample survey is a our also a demographic database sample survey is a information it is collected from the sample bases which are particularly suitable for providing a variety of information with fair degree of precision like uh, like uh, we collect the data census by sample survey we collect the so many data as like primary data through the sample sum survey but sample survey is a big kind of collect collection of data if you collect a data a big kind that is we can use a sample survey now we come to the national picture in demography distribution and density of rural population is one of the major character then uh, sex composition of rural population these are all these all are indicated come into the demography marital status fertility and morality mortality migration size of rural settlement and literacy i think we all know these things but but i would like to tell you little bit density of rural population we have a clear idea about the growth of population in the various state and union territories as well as country as whole also why do some states have more population than other can anybody tell me why do some states have more population than some others oh, 
Hello, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Um, it's because it, it's because that uh, the population of that we area is very high. We can call them one it's by very, one. Okay, okay, okay. It's very high. Okay. It's as because of okay. It's as because that their fertility rate is very high. That's why the density of that population is very high. Okay, right, right. Now we come to the sex composition of rural market, rural population. This section provides detail that should help you in the understanding the various aspects of demographic dynamics. It also influences the growth of population and also its distribution. The most significant aspect of demographic dynamic is a sex ratio. So it is an important social indicator to use to measure the extent of prevailing equity between males and female in the society. Now come to the marital status. As all everybody know, fertility and morality also know, size of rural settlement also know, and literacy is also know, it is a very common thing. Now come to the rural social structure, which is, a, which is very important. And it is a spine of rural development and rural society. In rural social, social structure, we have some key point. What is caste? What is caste in village? What is caste in class? What is Jajmani system? What is social mobility in Indian village? As we all know, village community, family, and caste are the basic component of rural social structure. If you observe what is rural social structure, we can say these things like family, caste. Class is other thing, but family and caste is a major component. So it is necessary to understand the nature of society and every society consists different parts such as individuals, groups, institutions, association, and community. So we come to the first concept of caste. Caste is a ascriptive in nature. Ascriptive in nature means by birth. You can birth in your caste. So it is ascriptive. It is a main social institution of especially in Indian village. Uh, in India, caste is uh, called also a jati, jat, zat, z-a-t also, or various other local terms. And it is a collectively, collectivity of people related by the ties of kinship, marriage, which has monopoly over the occupation. In India, it provides specialized services product of its occupation to other caste. Sociologist Harold Gould say, caste as a monopolistic guild. The occupation on which a caste has monopoly may be very simple. It may not involve any elaborated technology and skill. This is caste. And class is achieved in nature. You can achieve, that is class. So class is also a backbone of our structure, is rural structure. So one uh, uh, sociologist say in his book, Class, Caste, Class and Power, that is, I think, Andre Bete said, caste, class, power is subordinated to caste like a Brahman. If poor occupies the highest position in the caste hierarchy, and command unlimited respect from the other caste. So we can say caste, so many caste, class have three, higher class, lower class, middle class. One sociologist have, I, I think it is a Warner, Warner said reputational technique where include three classes, higher, lower and middle class. Now we come to the Jajmani system. India, in India, 
we can observe still after independence this time we are living in 21st century jajmani system is still here in remote areas also and we can say rural urban is also jajmani have observed that various castes living in village are interdependent because each one of them has monopoly over an occupation if some occupational caste is not found in the local area some other caste may take up its occupation we have a uh, i can give you example in uh, one village a uh, person is from carpenter category or you can caste only the person the carpenter is only do work of their village not to go other village we can uh, go for other example like blacksmith of one village in uh, up also worked on wood because they were no carpenter in that area so they made and repaired agricultural implement for the land owner peasants and the tha thakurs the interdependent between castes obtained in two ways so caste provide it goods and services to other in exchange for payment in kind or cash cash that is jajmani system jajmani have two class client and patron so if we come in indian con context distribution of power in rural india in my next slides in the traditional power system the main dimension of power system were the zamindari system the caste system and the village panchayat the village referred their economic and other problem either to zamindar or to their caste leader or to the village panchayat in a state like rajasthan traditional power structure was feudalist in other state zamindari was hereditary the jagirdari and zamindari system were in fact land revenue system like the king granted to their favorite chosen men like minister countries and military commanders so i can say the popular pranita ji just yes. a minute we can uh, give some examples of uh, african countries also okay okay actually Anna. i have seen i have seen in your uh, study material that is true rural development in india no no that is true vinita ji this uh, that, this material was is was for indian students but now through e vidya bharti we are uh, taking class of african students also so we can yeah, give yeah. some example of african countries also okay ma'am okay 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 thank you vinita i i try today but surely i'll give you best example tomorrow because actually i was confused your study material i have seen na this is a rural development in india so i was thinking ki if i uh, if my learner is south african to how could i give example from india i'll try okay thank you vinita ji thank you so much okay 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 so now come to the our next slide rural development is a process of improving the quality of life as i told you and rural development have uh, some important indicators or important characteristic like removal of inequality and poverty are first characteristic which is very important for rural development increase in the material welfare of the people this is second important characteristic third one increase in the social well being like education health housing etc and the fourth is distribution of the gain of among different group of people in the region or country it means the notion of rural development has been conceived in the diverse way by the researcher ranging from thinking to it as a set of goal and programs to the well knit strategy approaches 
or even also ideology. So, if you wade through the relevant literature, you will realize its scope and content are nebulous and do not have well acceptable acceptable and realize its scope and acceptable content. So it becomes increasingly clear that apart from effort to increase agriculture and industrial production, that is rural development. Now it is a, we can see this slide, indicators of rural development, economy, education, health, environment so before come to this i would like to give brief idea about rural development policies every rural development strategy also have own ideological roots upon which the element of the strategy have been based. Means it consists of an ordering of various policies parameter to attain desired goal. There are certain important policies which are very common to most rural development strategies and these policies are related to land, technology, agriculture, employment, education, research, extensions, rural institutions, and agricultural pricing. So rural development, one book, Rural Development is a Strategy, one uh, author said, D.S. Agarwal said, Rural development is a strategy designed to improve the economic and social life of poor people. And United Nations also define rural development as a process of change by which efforts of the people themselves are united, those of government authorities, to improve their economic, social, cultural, condition of community into the life of nation and to enable to contribute fully to national program. It means it is a process of bringing change among rural community from the traditional way of living to progressive way of living. So it also express as a movement for progress. So many researchers have invited about rural development, it is a set of goals and program to well-lit strategy, approaches, even an ideology. The rising concerns in rural development is due to realization that a systematic effort is necessary to create better living condition in the rural area. Now, it is also comprehensive in multidimensional concept and encircling the development of agriculture and allied activities, villages and cottage industries, even including craft, socioeconomic infrastructure, community services and facilities also. Uh, these are the indica indica uh, indicators like economy, education, health, environment. First is, these are the related to all agriculture. So first is economy or agricultural income. It is a change in productivity. Change in productivity, which are very requirement that support and sustain agricultural activities. As everybody know, uh, uh, agriculture production is a uh, dependent on land available for cultivation, capital 
and extent of mechanization or the uses of modern equipment in agriculture. Uh, the producer organization will add in purchasing of agricultural output or this will help in the enhancing the agricultural production also. So all the above parameters are directly linked in enhancing the annual income from agriculture. This is that's why it is a main indicator economy. So according to all findings in all researchers in my also findings from the review of literature, the rural community is involved in do the non farming activities. In addition to agriculture, the non agricultural activities like sericulture, dairy, poultry, vocational trainings, etc. So these are the this is the first indicator that is economy. Now, the education. Education is a changes in literacy in rural development. Schooling, literacy rate and life expectancy are also important indicator of rural development. And in rural areas are deprived of the basic amenities and education is one of among them. If we go through, if we observe the in rural area or villages, very less amount of education c so the capacity building for teachers is necessary to enhance, enhance their comp competency levels and the availability of teachers available in rural area directly impact the educational level now we come to the health indicator it is very important Health is a assessment of health status can also be made from disease prevention point of view, such as vaccination given to newborn babies, infant, pregnant and lactating mothers, even medical checkups camp also indicate the health status, level of state health education imparted by the primary health education is called PHCs or panchayat or the local government is also taken into consider that will enhance the status of health among the rural community. Some health care issues addressed by the government, it has also resulted the increased life expectancy in the area of malnutrition. In every, in all over the world in villages malnutrition cases are increasing very high going by high day by day so high infant mortality rate are also diseases like hepatitis issuing pertaining to female and rural health that consideration in health rural development index because because of human capital model of development as it replaces human resources for exhaustible, non-renewable physical capital in the process of development and relaxation of constraints on development imposed by inadequacy of physical capital to large extent. Now we come to the environment. Environment means environmental aspect is gaining a movement as global warming is impacting the mankind. Means the rise in the temperature of the earth due to accumulation of the carbon dioxide, which inhibit the reflection of the solar radiation back to major cause of global warming, as we all know. So, some research, I have found some research in United States, even South Africa also. The natural environment or the existing environment that will comprise of water quality, ambient air quality, soil quality, 
and existent of any natural forest since the natural environment is degraded by anthropogenic activities like excessive uses of the fertilizers fertilizers that pollute the surface of water bodies during the runoff and bringing about eutrophication of the water resources contributing to soil and water pollution uses of excessive pesticide these are all polluted our environment and last indicator is culture and leisure the amount of money spent on the culture and leisure aspect at it will indicate the economic status of rural community so rural people spend mostly on the local festivals in all over the world the spending of the rural community is important it is directly proportional to their earnings the higher the earning <coughs> the higher will be the spending on the culture and leisure aspect and this will also reflect on economic status of rural community so spending on culture and leisure are taking into an account in rural development index now next slide we have some stages in uh, rural development traditional society pre condition for take off take off and age of mass consumption to first is traditional society traditional society is dominated by subsistence activity output is consumed by the producer it is not traded trade is a barter where goods are exchanged directly for other goods means it is a in traditional society agriculture is the most important occupation even industry also production is labor intensive using only limited quantity of capital technology is limited resource allocation is very much second is take off take offs is a rostov theory take off is given by rostov rostov describe this stage as a short period of intensive growth it is a in which industrialization begin to occur and workers and institution become concentrated around in new industry matlab rural it means rural development mein pehle first we come to traditional then we come to traditional stage where industrialization begins and next slide take off industrialization take off industri industrialization means growth is concentrated in a few region of the country and within one or more one or two manufacturing industries the level of investment reaches over the gnp and people save money next stage age of high mass coming mass consumption it means at the same time rostov believe the western countries most notably the united state occupy last developed stage here countries economy flourish in the capitalist system and characterized by mass production and consumerism means the service sector become increasingly dominant urbanization is complete in this stage now multinational emerge and income for large number of person transcends basic food shelter shelter and clothing so increase inter interest in social welfare so rostov stage of growth model is one of the most influenced development theories of the 20th century 
and it was however also grounded in historical and political context he said even he wrote in the quote stage of economic growth was published in 1960 at the height of cold war and within the subtitle a non communist manifesto it was overtly political rosto was fiercely anti communist and right wing मनोरमा मैम हेलो मैम माय फर्स्ट ब्लॉक इज टोटली फिनिश्ड कैन आई टेक फाइव मिनट ब्रेक वी कैन हैव क्वेश्चन आंसर सेशन ओके ओके सो आई वुड लाइक टू स्टॉप शेयरिंग माय स्लाइड्स एंड नाउ वी हैव अ question answer session so any learner interested or you have any query ask write on chat box or raise your hand and better to write uh, on chat box if possible abdul mazid ahmed Yeah. Okay. <coughs> good morning, ma. Good well, morning. India. Good afternoon. Uh, you have been mentioned that if I understand you, uh, whenever we are going to define rural uh, rural area, so we have to consider population and yeah, yeah, uh, <coughs> uh, social infrastructure. So whenever we are going to define rural area, we have to consider all these kind of. I didn't, I didn't hear you. What I'm saying. <clears throat> Please write on chat box, Abdul. Uh, one i have seen a question the from prince muta the indicator of development you presented can be equated to characteristic of development yes yes right partson to as ask can we get the powerpoint slide you are using after the class uh, manorama ma'am i can share a powerpoint slides ha you can I'll, you can share it manata ji i'll send you after this after today's lecture i'll send you any question Good, good afternoon. afternoon i think you can hear me anybody hearing me this is garang garang from south sudan so good afternoon good morning good evening bolik uh just yes, ma'am if you can elaborate more on the distribution of power in basically in relation to the african countries like in south sudan if you can give us basic example on the distribution of power in example to our african context thank you okay one question from garang mamar based on culture and leisure as an indicator of rural development what can be done to community who spend a lots of their leisure time in involving their cultural culture practice they are not developing a culture means it is a learning behavior what you learn as a sociologist 
रॉन्ग बिहेवियर सो दे आर डेवलपिंग नो दे आर नॉट डेवलपिंग तो कल्चर प्रैक्टिस एंड कल्चर दो आर टोटली डिफरेंट कॉन्सेप्ट और वर्ड कल्चर प्रैक्टिस वॉट यू हैव लर्न एंड प्रैक्टिसिंग एंड कल्चर इज आर लर्निंग बिहेवियर एंड द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन टेक ऑफ एंड मास कंजम्पन ओके टेक ऑफ इज अ शॉर्ट पीरियड पीरियड ऑफ इंटेंसिव ग्रोथ it is a growth is or it is a short period of intensive growth and mass cons- consumption is a time of uh, like a uh, developed stage flourish in the capital system it is a mass production it is a consumerism and the one question is elaborate more distribution of power in relation the african context definitely i'll uh, speak ne- uh, other my next session i'll give you more example of power or any question i think Manorma, I I think this session is going to be end, and I, I want to take five minute break. Okay, Vinita ji. Ah, we will just announce it. Okay, ah, the learners. Ah, learners will be online. They will not leave the uh, session. Don't leave this session. We will meet after five minutes.